Condesair Filmora is a video editing software that is targeted towards individual content creators and is very easy to use. So now in this first lesson, let's tour around the interface of the software. And to do that, I'm going to go around on to the icon of the software, which is here on my desktop, and I'm going to double click on it. Once I do that, the software loads up and the interface loads up. So depending on your computer hardware, uh, the software might take a bit of time to load up. That is completely normal. And you can see that it has almost uh, completed loading here. And there is the software, as you can see right here. So now uh, once you open up, you get the message center. I'm just going to close this out. And now let's see the basic interface. So over here, uh, this blank window is where you'll see your final edited video. Or over here on the left side, this is where you manage out all the video contents. All of the raw clips that you have, uh, all of the audio, you simply manage it here. On the bottom, you can see the timeline. So there's a cursor right here, the timeline cursor, which you can scrub through. You can see that there's time code denoted at the top uh, for how much time has passed out. So we're going to work around this in further lessons. On the top, you can find different options. So this is where you can manage your media files over here. This is where you work around with audio. You can get some audio as well. You can work around and get titles from over here. You can work around with transitions over here. You can apply effects and you can add in elements and get the split screen option right here. On the top, you see more menus right up over here as well. And on the top left, you can see that there's file and edit menus and other menus that you can work with as well. Over here in timeline, you can see that there's the undo and redo, there's the cut, and then there's the delete button right here. Over here on the left side, there's the specific timeline options uh, right here as well to work with its audio, to work with its visuals and so forth. And over here, you can view settings as, as markers and everything else. On the main preview window, you can see the play button, you can see the start button right here, um, as well as other options that you can work with. And this is the interface right here. So when you start working, what happens is that you bring in some media. So I'm just going to go around into something like title right here. So you bring in, uh, bring the title in onto the timeline, and this is what you see. So if I were to scrub the uh, cursor right here, you can see that this is how it seems. So you can go around and bring in video footages and you can bring in elements and keep them all together to uh, create a final product. And in this tutorial series, we're going to do exactly that. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.